everybody. Welcome to another vlog. I know it's been a while. Uh, we're starting our day off here in Bina. We have a uh, intermodal about to enter Bakersfield. They just did their crew change here. Caught it just in time. Bina's up that way and Bakersfield is right down there. Just about four or five miles. Um, so yeah, we'll catch this guy starting up and then we'll probably head up to the mountain. I know there's uh, three other trains heading up to Tatchby currently, so we'll see. I might shoot all the way up to Monolith or something just to change it up, but keep you guys posted. Uh, we're gonna hit the road we're heading up edison road right now we're gonna make our way up to uh, bealville and see what we can catch up there i know there is an eastbound up heading up the hill so we'll see what we catch all right we made it down here to uh tunnel two looks like we have a bnsf inbound um, i believe this one has a little heritage unit on it Go ahead, fly over here, get some cool shots. I love how green the scenery is this time of year. Uh, glad I was just able to get up here before everything turned all yellow. Get some insane shots. It just rained yesterday and last night, so everything's very fresh. But I'll uh, catch you guys when she's coming through the tunnel.
All right, I just want to give you guys a quick overview of the layout of the Tehachapi route. Starting right here in Bakersfield. We'll be starting our morning right around, uh, I'd say about right here. It's known as Edison. This is Edison Road. It runs along the 58. Then from there, we'll go right around the corner. Tracks will bend down here to Bina. Oh, I'm off. Right here, Bina. A little water tower. From Bina, we'll shoot up the road. Up the road, and we'll end up over here at Tunnel 2, which is just outside of Caliente. We'll catch that uh, westbound BN, and then we'll shoot right back down the canyon, back down to Bina. Then we'll watch them play uh, musical trains there. And eventually shoot all the way up to Tehachapi. So a little breakdown. You have Bakersfield, Edison, Bina, right around here, Caliente, and, and uh, Beoville, Keene, which and Woodford. The Tehachapi Loop is right here. Then you got the town of Tehachapi. All right, little update. We're back down here at Bina. This stalled out UP, or I don't know if it's stalled out or lost a unit or whatever, has a second one coming right there. They're gonna cut it in and as soon as they do that, they should be ready to hit the road. I'll film some of that for you. As far as I know, I think they're gonna pull out the lead loco and stick the one that's coming into the consist somewhere. So we'll see. Uh, that's not a good leader. Well, there you have it. In case you guys didn't hear on the radio, they will be sticking that G vote into the middle of that consist and keeping the ACE as the leader. So we'll get to watch them play musical locomotive. All right, now that musical locomotives is done, she's ready to pull up the hill to, uh, to Hatchby. I'll catch her right here, then I'll probably catch her coming out of Tunnel 5 up there by Bealville, so stay tuned.
up here at Tunnel 5. Around the horseshoe. Beoville's back down that way. The old Tunnel 4, which collapsed is right there. Just want to show you guys um, this giant turbine that they have here. It's a giant wind turbine that they stick on the tracks while working in tunnels. Um, I don't remember the exact measurement of Tunnel 5, but I'll put it in the bottom left-hand corner. But yeah, usually when you get tunnels that are pretty long, they use one of these to pump fresh air through the tunnel when the guys are working in there. That's probably seven feet tall, I'd say. Well, for the next shot, that's uh, the 58 up there for reference. Beoville's back that way. Um, the next shot, we're going to go to the other side of the tunnel. Use that gate right there. Um, these gates are usually open, not locked. So if you open one to go through it, make sure you close it behind you so none of the cattle gets out, gets onto the tracks. But yeah, we're going to go to the other side of this, uh, which is the beginning of the cliff siding and catch that uh, UP. The north portal of Tunnel 5, the beginning of the cliff siding. And right down there is the old Tunnel 4 that I was telling you about, the collapse. You can still kind of see part of it with Beoville right there. That UP should be coming around the corner here any second. It's a great vantage point from up here. The old tunnel floor right there. You can see when it all collapsed, they had to excavate the whole hillside, push the dirt out so the tracks can run basically on the outside of the old tunnel. And in the process of when that happened, part of tunnel five collapsed, I believe, if I have it correctly, which is why this little grade around the hill, which gives you access to this location, was created, they uh, they had to do that so they can run the tracks around the Tunnel 5. I'm not sure how long they had those tracks in place for. I don't think it was very long, but you guys can go back and look that up. I don't really know off the top of my head. All right, we got a second manifest coming up. Still here at the same spot. Should be popping out of that tunnel any second.
up here in Tehachapi. We have the depot located right behind me over here. We do have a little uh, local that comes out of Mojave. Stopped by the uh, crossover right behind me. I think he's waiting to cross back on the main one to head back down to Mojave. Um, we just had a uh, east or uh, sorry westbound UP pass, so he should be getting the green light to come towards us. And then uh, I believe there's two eastbound UPs behind him. <laughs> Manifest. We already caught him down the hill a little while ago. here at uh, the Keene Bridge right behind me this is uh, the Rowan sighting and this is the uh, town of King of uh, Keene and uh, well we have two trains coming two uh, westbounds one BNSF one UP here comes the UP now
Well, there we have it. That concludes another vlog. I don't remember what vlog number it is. Up here on the beautiful Tehachapi. Uh, if you guys like this video, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't. Leave me comments below of what you guys would like to see more of. And if you guys would like to support the channel, I'll put something up on the screen or I'll link something in the description below. Um, anything you guys have, any comments, feedback, it's greatly appreciated. Till next time, see you guys later.